Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of PE with Coach B. Today we're today's activity is going to be a twist on memory games. So if you have a memory game set at home that you want to use, go ahead and use that. Or if you don't have a memory game, you can use playing cards. Um, just make sure that you only have two of each number. Or if you want to make it a really long game, you could have um, the whole deck. It's up to you. You run with it. Have fun with it. Um, I'm really really gearing this activity towards my younger group, my kinder first and second. Um, I reached out to our campus's kindergarten teacher and she gave me a list of the kindergarten words that they are expected to know when they're in kindergarten. So you can go ahead and make your own sight word flashcards on little pieces of paper. Just make sure you have two of each sight word. Um, or you can um, follow the link down below. It is a free link to free printables um, that I found on Pinterest and you can print out those and I have some of those words right here uh, or some of these flashcards right here and I just cut them all out. So that's what you're going to need to be successful in this activity. So, but before we do that, let's do our warm up. Ready, set, go. <laughs>
have a special guest with me, my daughter Mia. Hello. All right. So I have laid out all the cards right here. Um, this was these are the cards that I got from Pinterest, and like I said, they were completely free. So first things first is. All right, so for this game, I have a helper. You can play this with a partner or you can play it on your own. You, If you're playing with the partner, make sure you're taking turns. If you flip a card over and it's not right, then you need to give your partner a turn. Is that right? <laughs> you have to do time jumping jacks. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we got to put some exercise in this. Yes. So if you do not get it right, you need to do 10 jumping jacks. How many jumping jacks? 10. Now feel free to change up that exercise however you would like um if you want to do mountain climbers you can do mountain climbers if you want to do push-ups you could do push-ups change up the exercises however that you want and let me know how it goes now if you get it right if you flip two over right then what happens next mia you get to go again you get to go again and you get to keep the cards mm -hmm. and that is how you keep track of points now even though there are two cards how many points is that worth one. One. All right. At the end of the game, you can see how many points that you have. So here's what it looks like. Go ahead, Mia, and, and pick your card. Pick card. Oh. Oh, I love how she's saying the word too, guys. If you're using sight words, make sure that you say the word, okay? Okay. So she's going to flip it over again. Not. Not. Now, are those the same words? No. So do you get that point? No. So what do you have to do? Jacks. Let's get to it, girlfriend. <laughs> Good job. So now it is my turn to choose. Here we go. The word is after. Now let me see. After. So are those the same words? Yes. All right, so I get to keep those, and those are my points. How many points do I have? One. Now, since I got that right, I get to go again. I'm going to go flip over two more cards and see if they match. First word is mini. The second word is much. Do those words match? No. No? So... I flip those back over and then what do I do? 10 jumping jacks. 10 jumping jacks. Now remember I said you can flip up or you can switch up the exercises however you want. Instead of doing 10 jumping jacks, I'm gonna do 10 mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and that is how you play um, like an exercise. <laughs> exactly, it's not as easy. I don't know how to call it. I don't okay. know how to call it. So that is how you play our exercise version of the memory game. Give it a shot. Let me know how it goes. And remember to stay active. All right, I like to close up my day with the tip of the day. Today's tip of the day is what, Mia? Sleep. Make sure that during this time you, or any time um, that you are getting plenty of sleep. Sleep helps you to be, is important in order to, to stay Sleep. <laughs> Sleep helps you stay healthy. And did you know if... Oh, she did it an over. So, go ahead. I don't know what to say. Okay. So, did you know that if you, a three to five year old needs at least 13 hours of sleep within a 24 hour period? And then a lot of my friends that are watching this video are between the ages of six and 12. Do you know how many hours of sleep you're supposed to have, Mia? No. Nine to 12. All right, and then if you're a teenager watching this video, you need to have between 13 to 18 hours of sleep. All right, so make sure that you're getting plenty of sleep. I know it's really crazy. These schedules are really weird now because we're not in school, but we're still in school. So make sure that you have plenty of sleep, that you're turning off those devices maybe 30 minutes before you go to sleep. So like that, it gives you time, your mind to rest and kind of relax and get you ready. Look, she's ready to go to sleep. <laughs> All right, so make sure you get sleep, guys. Bye. Bye.